you know what's crazy? 2023 is moving fast. We're almost all the way through March. And I got to thinking, like, potentially we're, you know, staring down the barrel in a couple of months of another map coming out and not having all the diamonds from Reventuli. So, I think we better get it back out here and work on that. We did, I think it was right before the new weapons came out. We came out here, we shot like 30 raccoon dogs. So we're going to see if we can maybe stumble into some of them. We always have the chance of running into the key species we need as well. And we'll see where we go. Also, I think when we see bull moose, we'll probably shoot them on the off chance. Somehow we get a great one from doing this because good chance we are not getting all three today. So we will certainly be back. And I guess we'll go and chase a hazel grouse. What's up, Sandy? Ethan's in here. I saw pizza was in here as well. Everybody leave a like. How kind. Hey, remember Lamar Jackson? I do. I do remember that guy. Apparently, he requested a trade all the way back on March 2nd. So that's going to be... It's going to be intriguing to see what happens with that. Because if he gets traded, are the Ravens, like, stuck with Tyler Huntley? I don't know. Or, or, or will the Ravens trade him at all? It's going to be a really interesting thing. Thought it said away the Hunter? Uh, don't think it should have. There is a chance, though, sometimes, like, when updating the stream info and stuff, it can sometimes not work properly. Like, the alert will send you the previous stream setup. But I set this up, like, an hour ago. Normally, it is refreshed by then. We did do Way the Hunter last week, though, so that is possible. Favorite rare that you have? I really love my Fireball Diamond Grey Fox. I just, uh, <laughs> uh, what was that? Yesterday, two days ago? I got a comment on that video. Someone accusing me of, like, cheating or whatever, saying that it was my friend's server and I traded that. See if you can find that same animal anywhere else out there. You can't, because I shot it. <laughs> What's up, bottom boy? Sands in here as well. Did you shoot any more five-star? I saw you're a huge Sitka deer. Have you shot any more five-star caribou? How do you turn pounds into kilos and hunters? So if you go into... It's going to be different now, so it might take me a second. Should be... Is it gameplay? Yeah. Unit system, you just switch between Imperial and Metric. Making homework. Nice. What's going on, King Patriot? Uh, where do you think Lamar Jackson is going to get traded to? If he is going to get traded, like if the Ravens are going to honor that, who would do it? Because you imagine that no one's going to sign him to an offer sheet and try to get the two first round picks because the Ravens can then just match it. So maybe it wouldn't have to be a team that's got two first round picks like in consecutive years. What about like... He probably wants to go to a contender. Indy might make sense. I think Atlanta would make a lot of sense too. What are those two? Up to six Big Mel Caribou. Goodness gracious. I got to get back in there and weigh the hunter. I was going to... Two days in a row. I get home, I've got like, you know, three hours to do something. I edit a clip, make the thumbnail. My three hours are gone. So, I haven't gotten to play it. I was going to stream it today, but I just, I know we got to get here to Revan Tuli and work on these things. So, we'll get to it eventually. Lamar to Green Bay? They would never pay that. It'd be interesting, but I couldn't see him doing it. That's not the gun I want. I think that's going to be long. How many five stars do you have? In total, honestly, I don't know. Um, probably 25 or 30 on Nez Perce, like two on Transylvania, and three or four on Aurora Shores? Maybe more than four. Yeah, like six, I think, on Aurora Shores. What are the three diamonds you're missing? So we're missing Raccoon Dog. That's like the main one we're going to focus on. And then both of the new geese species, both Greylag and Tundra Bean Geese. We did in early access for Reventuli. Shoot a diamond tundra bean goose, and it was like the biggest of sad because we thought as we were hunting on Reventuli and killing all these cool things. I mean, diamond bean goose, melanistic lynx, diamond brown bear. There were a ton of cool things we shot. We thought it was all gonna count, and then Reventuli releases. It turns out we can't bring the early access save to the live game. We've not seen level five uh, new goose since, so we're still here. They should do what Call of the Wild does and have a count for 5-star, 4-star, and so on. That's not a bad idea. I think people would like that. I would like to know. Would be a pretty simplistic counter to set up as well. Could you explain herd management? I don't do it, and I don't really condone it, so <laughs> I'd rather not explain it. I also don't understand it that well. Like, if you really want to know how to do it, I'm not the person to ask. I uh, had someone tell me that my videos are terrible. I don't know why they have to be rude. I'm new, so definitely rude. It's just what people do, man. And it's a part of... At the end of the day, it's a part of 
being online and making videos and stuff, you're gonna get like constructive criticism and all that's good, right? But you're also gonna get people that are just, you know, being mean to be mean. Hide behind anonymity, <laughs> can't say that. Anonymity, yeah, anonymity, whatever it is. It's just, it's just part of it. You learn as you go to block that stuff out. Haven't had any hate so far? It's because you have, wait, you have your voice in your videos now. There's a good one. I was gonna say it's because you have a lovely British accent, but then I wasn't 100% certain that you have your voice in videos. That spawning disappeared. We did get him, nice. If you do that, like you're shooting through the trees and the spotting outline just goes away, a lot of times that means you got him. Do you like Kendall Gray? I think his content's unique and stuff. I've been asked to collab with him a lot and I don't think our like content style would align at all. But yeah, I respect what he does. I think he's, I don't know if he was the first, but he's in that like flair, uh, who's the other guy that I'm thinking of? I can't think of his name. They do a lot of those like hunting challenges stuff, like you know, cheapest gun at Walmart challenge and stuff like that. It's a it's a huge niche, and he's doing well in it. Shot a melanistic buck and albino buck. The next day is still no great one. Uh, obviously whitetail. I'm trying to think through what species have great ones now. Hopefully you can get them soon. I never got a melanistic on my whitetail uh, great one grind. I've had melanistics from other stuff, but never from the great one grind. You thinking of Braden Price? I think so. Yeah. I don't know why. Braden Price and... Now I can't think of that guy's name. Brandon Herrera. <laughs> I get those two confused. What's the plan for today? We're pretty much going to run around in Raccoon Dog territory and see what we can find. If you recall, it was like the day before the Hunter Power Pack came out, I think. We did a full run through Raccoon Dog drink time here on Reventuli. We killed like 40, I think. So... I would like to think we wiped out the majority of the population. We're just gonna run through if we got any, see if we got any good response. We may, if we, you know, we go through here once, haven't found anything, we may try their drink time, but it's just tough. You know, like, a stream's already a little bit blurrier and stuff than a normal video, and then you introduce the darkness aspect, and then you're looking at little tiny things in the distance. I don't, I'd prefer to not do that. What have you not gotten five stars of? As far as big game goes, because, like, I don't have you know, Red Fox and um, the geese on Transylvania and that stuff. But big game species, everything on Transylvania except for Red Deer. We do have a five-star Red Deer. Nez Perce, we have all the big game. And then Aurora Shores, we don't have a Sitka Deer or a Caribou yet. I think that might be it for big game. We don't have, like, almost any of the waterfowl other than wild, wild ducks. We don't have foxes. There's one I'm thinking of on Transylvania, too. Oh, or any of the rabbits. We don't have those, either. Work and lurk. Appreciate you, Hatchet. Normally, you run these roads, raccoon dogs are around. Time for a thermal scope DLC? When I was playing uh, Deer Hunter 2005, and obviously that came out <laughs> long ago, they had a thermal scope, and it was an interesting kind of thing. It, it was almost... I wouldn't say it was cheating. I want to say, too, though, they had... I think they had like separate records for used thermal scope or didn't use thermal scope. So they definitely considered it like a huge advantage. But it was cool, you know, you'd look through the forest and 200 yards away, you'd see that heat signature of a, of a deer. It was kind of, kind of neat. I'm currently looking at purchasing this game, but I can't, I, yeah, can't shake the feeling that I might get bored after an hour. It'll be my first hunting game I've also never hunted in real life should I purchase. If you're gonna get a hunting game and you've never hunted in real life and you're worried about getting bored, this would be the one hunting game that is like the most kind of action-packed, like compared to say the Hunter Classic, this is this is kind of the um what would you call it? The sequel to the Hunter Classic? And a newer game, Way the Hunter. Those are far slower paced than the Hunter Call of the Wild is. If you're looking to get into the the genre, this is the one that's like, smell like pudding. most consistently running into animals and all that stuff. That works still, huh? <laughs> the Twitch sounds still work. Good. Do you play Deer Hunter 2005 anymore? I haven't messed with it since the last video we did on it. I may pick it up one of these days. I'm considering like maybe on Fridays where 
you know, if I have time during the week, we might do some Flashback Friday stuff with some old games. We'll see. I uh, just started playing Call of the Wild again after two and a half years. I got an albino lion and a melanistic diamond Kratos. What? That's wild. Classic Way the Hunter equals hunting games. Call of the Wild equals shooting game. That's a, that's a pretty, pretty fair assessment. You can play Call of the Wild in a more like, say, realistic hunting style, but I guess what it comes down to is the game lends itself to the shooting, like shooting game type of thing more. What new map would you want to see in the game? You know, I think Greenland would be really cool. You'd be looking at caribou, um, muskox would, like, caribou and muskox would be your two feature species. I believe you could realistically, semi-realistically, get, like, arctic fox and arctic wolf onto the map, so that'd be three new species already. Plus, I would like to hope that it would be redone caribou as well. So then, I think you could do a ptarmigan species of some kind. I don't know what kind it would be necessarily. Maybe snowshoe hare, too? Like, and mountain hare, I think, are snowshoe hare, by the way. Which, I didn't know that until Mel told me that, like, a couple days ago. But if you look at their feet, that would actually make a lot of sense. But, you know, if you can manage to squeeze one more kind of decent species in there, I feel like that's a, a pretty solid map. Maybe get some other bird species or whatever, and you're good to go. Where'd that sucker get to? There he is. Sneaky bugger. What are all the rare types in Way the Hunter? At the moment, albino red deer and albino whitetail, and melanistic mule deer and melanistic roe deer. That's it for now. How many diamonds have you shot? I do not know. Let's find out together. Okay, so this number's wrong. It's off by 300 when they added bloodhounds. They completely screwed it up, and it was counting golds as diamonds. But the correct number then would be 985. Just want a mellow fallow? I would like a good sized mellow fallow. I don't know if I've ever gotten one. No, I have. I shot like a really tiny mellow buck. I think right after lodges came out or something. Would definitely love to see some new backfield species in this game. Yeah, we could do with more of them. There, there's other ones that could fit or could loosely fit because that's kind of what I'm getting at with the Greenland thing it wouldn't necessarily be perfect fits but it's also like this map is based in Greenland it doesn't have to be Greenland like EW can take some creative liberty there I think and they've done that on other maps anyway so why not almost 1,000 diamonds anything special for number 1,000 to be honest I actually haven't thought of that yet and if the moose grind ever, like, really picks up, or if the, if the black bear grind continues to produce diamonds at the rate that it had been, we're gonna have to come up with that soon, and I just, I don't have a plan, really. I don't know, I'll probably do something like I've done for, you know, 15,000, 13,000 Tharvas. Just go for a hunt as we're kind of approaching that number, and just see if we run into something cool. See if we can luck into something that would be a cool number 1,000. Do I have a criteria for what would be cool? Not really, but I guess we'd know when we get there. It would be nice if it'd be the raccoon dog, but I'd also love to get that out of the way today. Where did he go? He did some kind of goofy thing here. I guess then he went back that way. Maybe he did. The best hunting game? It's really tough to rank hunting games these days. Like, it, it really is. But... I think Way the Hunter is like the, if you really want to use like the strict definition of hunting game, I think Way the Hunter is probably the best current hunting game. I think Call of the Wild is going to remain the most popular and the most played because it's more accessible, it's faster paced, that fits a lot more like gamer style and stuff. So, you know, do with that information what you will. What's up, Black Sheep? I think they need to add cheetahs to the game. I personally would prefer leopards, but you know, similar vibes there. Number 1,000 must be a super rare? I mean, if I can get that lucky. Don't forget I haven't shot a super rare in like 16 months, so... We shall see. Maybe if, you know, if like a... If a super rare spawns on one of the grinds, I could leave it there and wait. But that sucks too. Like, I don't like to do that. It's like the... It feels like stacking to me. Like, leaving something there to shoot it later? Like, no, I'm hunting to get the thing. I want to shoot it now. So, I don't know. We'll see. Smoked him. He's going to float all the way over here. 
That wasn't what I wanted. Gotten four diamond caper Kelly today? Nice. That was another one. Probably just heard the shot. What's up, Brandy? What are you hunting for? Raccoon dogs are the main target, but we, for instance, as we were running around, shot a level four uh, tundra bean goose as we were going. Both they and the gray lags, as we're looking at right now, are among the species that we don't have diamonds of on this map, so should one show up, a level five, I mean, we'll basically completely shift gears and try to get that. The ideal would be to get it out of the air with a shotgun, like we've done with every other bird diamond on this map. If it happens that it's flying by and it's way out of shotgun range, it's not like we won't shoot at with the 22. If we can get it, we'll get it. Do you still play the Hunter Classic? Absolutely. Um, I think we had a video on it. Was that last week? Should have been. Though, frankly, I can't remember what it was. We did the St. Patrick's... Yeah, that was last week. We did the St. Patrick's Day missions last week, and then there was a stream on Wednesday as well. Wednesday nights at 7.30 p.m. Eastern over on Twitch is when I stream Classic. Uh, plan on doing a Flinter KG gaming collab video? Probably not, only because, like, I don't think our content styles are would really mesh that well. Like, we, we have a very different approach to content, and there's nothing wrong with that. But I don't think it would be... Like, I just don't think it would flow. How do you get so many diamonds? Primarily, it's just a, a factor of putting in a lot of, of time. I, at the moment, have 6,045 hours in this game, so it does kind of add up. But generally speaking, things like grinding, whether, they, whether it's whitetail or black bear or red deer, just shooting a bunch of stags or bucks or males of whatever species over and over, that's going to produce diamonds, and we've gotten a bunch that way. And also from just hunting around. What we're doing right now is kind of a form of grinding. It's not really like hardcore grinding. It's just shooting every raccoon dog we see. Stuff like that. Hunting around during the drink time for the specific species. So if we weren't chasing raccoon dogs today, it is on Revan Tubi Coast, 1109. Whitetail drink time. We'd be hopping around to lakes where there's whitetail if we were just trying to get anything. Rocky Mountain Hunter 3. If I can get it to work... I want to do a flashback Friday for that. I have it. Um, and I got it to work a little bit. But then, as soon as I would try to shoot an animal, it would crash. So that kind of <laughs> kind of defeats the purpose. Favorite animal to hunt IRL other than deer? Other than deer, it would definitely be turkeys. It's funny how, like, it's hard to kind of describe. But I think turkeys are the most exciting thing to hunt. At least, like, here in PA, for instance. But I'd, I'd rather hunt deer. It's a different kind of excitement and adrenaline and stuff. But when you're calling in a gobbler and you just hear it like getting closer and closer as it gobbles back to you, there's nothing quite like that. Don't have it, but apparently there's a VR turkey hunting game. There is. I don't have a VR headset, but if I ever get one, I could see that being fun. A little far back, but that'll work. What's up, Cooper? Elephants would be so cool, though. It would be... There would be a lot of hurdles EW would have to jump over, including the... perceived ethical thing. There isn't really an ethical barrier there, but there's a perceived one, which... Nice. Depo dog. Maybe that's a sign of a diamond today. Uh, probably the perceived ethical barrier is more important than there actually being one. Because if it was the opposite, if there was an ethical barrier, but no one actually realized that, I don't think EW would care. So, I think that's one of the biggest problems, but then you gotta consider, too, like, they won't fit in the Trophy Lodge. Everybody, like, Trophy Lodges are maybe one of their biggest selling points. Everybody wants their elephant in the lodge, right, if they shoot one. So they gotta re reconfigure that. They would need to... I imagine... Because of how big they would be... Would they even fit on, like, a map like Verhunga properly? Would they need to do another map entirely? Like, there would be so many little nuances they'd have to deal with. You just made a deal with the Devil Dog? If it gets me a diamond, I don't care. <laughs> this was... Mountain Hare were the ones I was really concerned about. Because I know we can get a Diamond Raccoon Dog. If we gotta keep on hunting... There's a four again. If we gotta keep on hunting, uh... You know, at night... We'll do what we gotta do. We will eventually get one. Oh, we hit him. Nice. Um... But the, the mountain hare was like, 
just hope that we stumble into one one day and we got that so I'm not concerned that we'll never do it but I do want to make sure that we've gotten ideally one of each diamond on this map before whatever the next map is comes out you should use the truncated ammo I was using it earlier today and I really wasn't impressed I saw Scarecrow's video um that it was like one shotting things I don't think it's better for birds than the regular stuff though I think it's got better penetration but that doesn't really, that doesn't solve the bird issue because it's not about the penetration. Typically, it's more about the expansion. Smoked. What's up, Parker? Elephants would most likely break the performance of the game. I don't know, maybe. They might make it better. That's going to sound stupid. But my thinking is, if they're gonna have elephants, they'd have to remove some of the other species off the map to make room for them. And maybe that actually helps. <laughs> Cause like things like Rancho, when Rancho came out on console, the lag was unbelievable. Obviously I don't play console, but I happened to be in Georgia with Kyla when it came out and she had an Xbox then. And I mean, 10 frames per second, maybe. It was so bad. So less animals actually could be a good thing. Seven hundred nitro for elephants, something like that. Both of these guys, everything ran like the same way. I don't even know where the goose was either. Just spawn my fourth piebald of my phalangrime, but all I want is a mela. Are you shooting everything, males and females, or just males? Probably just males. You don't need to shoot everything for fallow. What are we on? That's the male track. I don't really mind if we don't find the female, but if she's here somewhere, we'll get her. What's up, Lori? Hey, Space Cowboy. Days have been good, man. Um, the... The Mondays after a Meat Hunter video releases, at least from my end, that then goes out on my channel, are typically quite chill days, so... I was just chilling all morning, like I took Shadow for a walk. I actually, uh, took her over. The neighbor had her dog out, and Shadow and her dog hadn't met yet, so they played around for like 20 minutes. It was a good time, just, just chilling today. Do, uh, do have some stuff to do, but, you know, it's nice to relax every now and then. I did get a clip done, though. For Wednesday. 700 Nitro does a fifth of your health every shot? I like it. So that goose not die? Because there's two hunting pressures there, and that's both raccoon dogs. I know we hit it. Maybe they can survive. Africa 2.0 focused on big game like elephants, giraffe, leopard, and buffalo. I wouldn't be... Like, I could be perfectly fine with a similar map to Verhunga where it's... Why does that... That doesn't look right. That I don't know if that's piebald or what, but that didn't look right to me. Hang on. Maybe it's black-white, but I don't know. We'll try to get a better shot angle on that one. Anyway... Um, I wouldn't be upset if they just did, you know, black wildebeest and hyena and impala and stuff. Like, there's so many species they could do that wouldn't have to get into the huge, huge game. But, it would be cool, don't get me wrong. If they did elephants, I'd be very pleasantly surprised. Alright, where'd he go? I don't know what he is. Doesn't look right to me. He ain't giving me a shot, though. Do you think it's piebald pizza? Do you? Would you know? <laughs> How do I... What? How do you buy animals on Rancho? What you mean? Oh, it's going back this way. Where's he at? Flying across there. Slow down, dude. Let me smoke you. I'm afraid that you're a big male and you're not going to be. And then I'm just going to waste my time. <laughs> He's a raccoon dog? Holy! There he is! Slow down. There you go. Oh, he's dead. Let's see what he was. We will know before we get there. Skip back. It looks piebald. That would be amazing. Black white. Dang. I, I guess I've just never seen them up close. Like, as they're running away like that. Because the hind end to me, it's these brownish patches. And then there's the white above them. That's what threw me off. Bummer. Would have been cool. 
the day Great One Elk comes out, I'll drop everything I'm doing. Would you have a preference, like Rosie's versus Rockies, or just Great One Elk, you know, happy that they do it? Pasted that boy. Soup finally got his wrench. Yeah, what, what was even going on there? Oh, they changed the way that they do, uh, like, channel links and stuff on YouTube. So I had a heck of a time getting it to them. Soup the wrench. Or wench. <laughs> Need to come up with a great one, Mule Deer? That would be my preference. Because the funny thing is... Mule Deer may be more so than almost... Well, yeah. I'll say Mule Deer more so than any other antler species. At least in North America. I think of, like, non-typicals. When I think of the real, like, trophy animals. And yet... Other than just like a few minor stickers with the Mule Deer Axe we have here, we have none of that. So it would, I think it would be a big realism thing to add some non-typicals in the form of Great Ones. Great One Blacktail would be dope. Have I talked about this on stream yet? I don't know if I have. So I made that clip of the, the biggest diamond blacktail I ever shot with Legacy Racks back in, I don't know, 2018. And I was just looking at it and thinking, like, you know, what would be the justification for bringing something like that back, even in the form of Great Ones? And I'll lay out my theory, or my idea. So there's a thing. When Blacktail and Mule Deer uh, interbreed, is that the right word? I don't know. When you have a hybrid of a Blacktail and a Mule Deer, it, it's what people call a bench leg, and... They get huge. Like, they get really, really big antlers. You could, I think, reasonably say, like, yeah, this is a Great One Blacktail. It's hybrid with a Mule Deer. It's huge. I think that'd be fine. And then just, heck, do the Legacy Rack and maybe make it even a little bit more special. But base it on that, because everybody loves the Legacy Blacktail. Everybody that sees it's like, you know what? It may not be realistic, but that thing looks incredible. What's up, Miro? They just need bench legs? I mean, as a rare, right? Like, why not do that? How do you find animal man on Rancho? That makes more sense. Um, I mean, honestly, just go between the lakes. They're really everywhere on Rancho. It's hard to go somewhere and not find animals. Oh, I like it. You have to grind both to find the great one because it could be in either herd. That's cool. You could... Hmm. I almost feel like Blacktail Great One should be Bench Legs. But you also release a Mule Deer Great One at the same time. This got its own thing and the option to be a Bench Leg. I think we just I think we just saved Call of the Wild, guys. I like it. Uh, also, the fact there's still max by estimate level 4 Blacktail with level 1 spikes. Level 5 is going to be that, in fact. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that. I don't hate it. Like, it's almost realistic, but... You know, Call of the Wild doesn't really go that route with the, um, you know, half racks or anything like that, so it doesn't make sense that only Blacktail have it. It's obviously a bug. And give people a chance to double herd manage a great one? At least they're not on the same map, so you'd have to at least put some effort in. Speaking of great ones, I saw a great one fallow in the herd I'm meant to be taken care of. What, in real life? I guess. Did you shoot it? Ah, uh, too high. How are we doing today? Not too bad. Been going through trying to find some raccoon dogs. We had a, a little bit of a, a mini scare earlier, thinking we had a piebald, but it was not one. What diamonds you need? Raccoon dog, gray lag goose, and tundra bean goose. Speaking of the geese, where are we at? Oh, we got a ways. I've been shooting a bunch over here, and I'm hoping one of these days it pays off and spawns a five. It's funny, though, I don't get any big ones over there. Almost ever. So I'm wondering if I'm wasting my time. I've got a level 4 Blacktail with both spike sides. He's a bronze scoring full integrity level 4. Yeah, I mean, at least they do score properly. I guess that's a plus in terms of like how the, the scoring system actually works. It is a, a weird one, though. It's almost like the, the way the hunter antler glitch. Like, there's something defaulting to a level 1 that's not supposed to be. Maybe it's supposed to be like a certain uneven rack that just doesn't work. 
Loadouts broke PS4 inventory? How so? Cut a Thunder Bean Goose, troll by 0 .01. That's the worst. Honestly, if we do find a level 5 goose and it trolls, that'll be a sad day. What's the one animal you want to see added to Call of the Wild? Dog sheep are high on my list. Um, If they did them, I'll say realistically, because I'm not a huge fan of what the bighorn look like. The mouflon are great though, so I think they can do it. What else? As far as Africa goes, I really want to see Impala and Greater Kudu. Those would be my three. Any of those. Should have just got the seven mil. Yeah, that would have been a better idea. Imagine finding a great one while looking for a raccoon. We haven't killed a ton of moose on Revan Tuli, but it was the last time we were out here on stream, I believe. We shot a huge diamond, 298 or something like that, max weight, so who's to say that didn't respond to a great one? It could happen. Uh, what's the first expansion I should try? Expansion meaning like DLC? Uh, let me think. If you mean maps, you can play any map you don't own in multiplayer. So I would just go into multiplayer, pick a map, run around, and if you like it, you can consider buying that one. If you're looking into guns, I would probably still say like the Modern Rifles pack is probably still the best like for, say, big game that you'd want to get. And then Weapon Pack 1 is the 22 LR, which is really, really useful in a bunch of situations. Bighorn look like corgis? Do you happen to remember Corgi Elk? There was a time when there was something screwed up, and I don't even know when this happened, but something got screwed up with elk animations. Maybe when the Rockies came out? And, uh, when, I think when they were trotting, or maybe when they were full on fleeing. Roosevelt Elk, and I think Rockies too. They would like, their, maybe their legs went up into their body a bit. They'd get way shorter and they would look way fatter. <laughs> and you could shoot them that way and it would show on the harvest screen. It was it was a really odd thing. Where are we going? Let's do... Yeah, let's go up and around. Watch on the way to baseball. Sounds good. Why is the screenshot for the stream the Hunter? It is called the Wild. I can see it on my end that it was. So I'm guessing it's YouTube not updating it all the way. At least on like some people's ends, but... Like, because someone else said that at the beginning of the stream. But, uh, like, in my Discord post, I can see the Call of the Wild thumbnail, so I'm assuming YouTube just failed a little bit. Anything cool yet? Nothing to speak of. Piebald Moose has been shot. Nice. What time does a deer eat? On Rancho? Uh, does anybody know Whitetail white feed time now? Because I do not. It's definitely not 8 to 12, because that's when they drink. So it's either before that or after that. That was one. A female, but fair chance there's a male with it. Thumbnail's good for you guys. How weird. Same one again. What was she barking at? I don't know. Oh, okay. Just barking to bark, probably. Hello there. What's up, Danny? It's Way the Hunter on Discord for you, too? That is weird. I've had it before where it does, like, default to the last, uh, like, stream thumbnail I had, but normally that's if I update the thumbnail, you know, five minutes before I go live. That was there for, like, an hour. Weird. There's a gray burr, I think. That's the female's tracks. Are there male tracks? If not, we'll just let them go. Dog delivery service. <laughs> Oops, didn't hit it is fine. You killed a giant buck when it scored in real life? The gross score, like before deductions, and I should say green score, so before the drying period, was 180 and 6 eighths. The official net score, like the score that's in the record books, is 171 and 3 eighths. I see you there, whatever you are. Quit. Shadow's trying to get my Mountain Dew lid. Thumbnail's Minecraft for you? Holy... Mining for diamonds. I watch you play so much, I'm slowly getting off Classic and playing Call of the Wild. Hopefully you'll stick with Classic as well. Classic is still, I, I love that game so much. Was it this morning, yesterday, at some stage recently here, I was sitting in a tree stand, the golden tree stand in fact, while editing, just shooting stuff. Killed a pretty nice blacktail. I don't know if I'll put that in 
what would be, I guess, Wednesday's video? We'll see. You have taught me a lot, Whale. I'm glad that the, uh, the videos and streams have been helpful. Always stick with classic, good, good. Gonna do any spring at turkey hunting? Planning on it. Um, we had been intending to go to Ohio, uh, Aaron and I, to do a little turkey hunting. May still happen later in the season, we we're gonna go for the opener, but it just so happens that that happens to be the same week when we're going down to Georgia for Kyla's birthday and I think, oh, going the wrong way. I think some other family members in Kyla's family, they're having birthdays too, so we're gonna be down there instead. Whoops. Less normalized giving people the score of the deer on the hoof. I honestly think most people do that, but, you know, on the off chance that's not what people are asking about. The thing is too though, you know, if you look up the score in the books, because you can, um, it would obviously show the, the net score, and then it would be like, oh, Flanter is lying. He said he shot a 180. It's only a 170. It's both. You know what sucks? Turkey season opens April 9th. You know what sucks even more? It opens April 29th for me. <laughs> Ours is real late in PA. Classic needs a beginner guide. I know I need to do it. Maybe, maybe I'll do that soon, because... I do want to just, not that I want to take a break from Let's Go Trophy Hunting, but I feel like it's been, you know, nothing but elk as of late. Just always going after elk, so maybe a, a week or two or three. Do some beginner style content or beginner oriented content would be a decent idea. Or even back and forth. Hey, mistress. I'm not here. Oh, uh. I didn't say that. When does it close in PA? Should be the last... Uh, actually, you know what? Let me look. It's like... I can't think of the... What's the holiday in May? The end of May? Is it Memorial Day? Not Labor Day, no, that's September. If it's Memorial Day, sometimes it's that and sometimes it's the Saturday before. Turkey season opens May 1st for me in Maine. Does it run all the way to the end of May? Nothing gonna be the OG trophy hunting series. I still love the new one, just the OG is so good. It's hard to, you know, cause I'm trying to do it a little bit different at least. It's hard to go back and be able to do that same type of thing. Cause it's like once a week. Sometimes I was doing, you know, basically back to back videos in classic just doing trophy hunting it's a different thing entirely for sure that's horrible for you and pa it's so short yeah and that's why um you know i was trying to extend my season a little bit by going to ohio and stuff so next time i'm gonna find a place that i can go in march the problem was like aaron can't get a bunch of time off and we were gonna try to go together so he needs to find somewhere where it's just like a weekend he can go down and back without having to take any time off or maybe one day so uh ohio being in the middle of us that was his best option and their opener doesn't work for us so i guess next year we'll have to come up with something else there's a lake called zahini lake surely between those two it would be medved but i don't know April 29th in Western PA, yeah. There is, I, I think, maybe in like, whatever the WMU by Pittsburgh is and the one out by Philly, those might open sooner. The deer seasons always do, so the turkey might as well. Do you think the 6.5 is worth carrying? Is worth carrying like, if you want something different? It's never gonna be say as efficient as the dm1 or the 30 out 6 or the 308 it's just not as powerful as those weapons as a as a class 4 to 8 so you know you just sign up to track things a little bit longer which is fine like i like to do that every now and then but it's it's not like the best option for 4 to 8 171 whitetail is huge where did you kill it uh literally like 300 yards behind my house <laughs> Here in Western PA. Max score for Fallow? It's in the area. There is no true max, but like, nobody's gotten one above 276 or 277. 
Have you played Aurora Shores lately? I can't remember. Did we go there on stream? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Friday stream we were there. Because we shot... I do need a Diamond Witch, by the way, as well. But I was going to do that on Burhanga, so I don't count uh, Reventuli as needing one. Anyway. I do have a clip from basically the coolest thing that happened on that stream coming on Wednesday. Is that the biggest in your county? It's the second biggest non-typical ever taken in the county. The biggest was in like 1941 or 1940. It was like 189 or something. It was huge. It was actually, I didn't know the guy, but like I knew his descendants, I guess I'll call him. So it was interesting that it worked out that way. That particular one, again, 1940, so forever ago, was shot yeah, within 20 minutes of where I grew up, I'd say. You have a 312 fellow? Oh, do you? What rifle would you recommend in classic as getting bored of the 300? I really like the 7x64. That's a fun one. You could, although if you do it, you're going to have to buy a scope too. You could get one of the classic rifles, like the, the 303 British, the K98K. Um, there is a Mosin. What's the fourth one? Oh, a 30 out 6, like a... Uh, like a Springfield. Cool guns, I like them all. Not even my grandpa was born yet. It was a long time ago, so it's kind of neat, you know? Uh, sometimes, it, I just got him back from the tax norm a couple weeks ago, and sometimes I walk past him and think like, this is a bizarre life. Just like, why do I have that? I do anything to deserve that, but I guess that's the way it goes. I do wanna, I'm, I'm gonna do a video on it. Um, Sometime later this spring or maybe summer when it gets nice out, I'm going to take them out up to my parents. I'm going to mount them to one of the the most solid of the fence posts along the old cow pasture. And I'm just going to sit there and just tell some of like the untold stories that come along with it. Because there's a lot of stuff that I just couldn't fit into the episode with them. By the way, if you guys are curious about that deer, I do in fact have them on video. That video is on this channel. But... I do, like, one thing I'm going to try to not say in the sense, like, I'm so smart, I figured this out, but I was able to identify, like, as soon as I bought the property, I walked around, I'm like, I'm not going down there. That's, like, that's good deer bedding. And wouldn't you know it, that's where he came out of. So there was a little bit of, you know, not saying I definitely deserved it because I figured out where a deer can bed, but, you know, it wasn't completely blind luck either. Got a 144 Whitetail in Butler County. Nice, man. The one that I've been chasing here for a couple years at my mom and dad's is about that size. Probably not even quite that big. Gonna be eight and a half this year if he's still alive. And man, I would love to connect. I just... He's been so much fun to chase, but... They don't get much older than that. When do raccoon dogs drink? They drink from... Like midnight to 3 a.m., I think. How big is your property? I just have 14 acres. My dad has 120 odd, something like that, 121, 127, something like that. Mine's 14.1. Eight and a half is quite old. It is. And, you know, I've really been, the last couple of years, because I want to do, this is the thing that kills me, right? If I don't get him, I can't make this type of video. I would love to do a full documentary on, like, this buck and mostly my journey looking for it, but... Kyla and my brother as well have had pretty cool encounters with them and just put the whole thing together because it's been it's been really unique but one of the points that I would love to make in that video if I can ever do it is just how like you know inexperienced we still are now and especially were starting out and trying to find them because like to some degree like I was always trying to get them but it's only been these last two or three years where it's just like, he's getting old, I have to figure him out. So I've really been trying to pattern him, and frankly, I can't get very far. But what I think I have established is that he just doesn't stay on this property. When it comes to gun season, he has a place he goes and just gets away. Because we never find his sheds, we don't see him after, like, December 1st. He's just gone. Only 14 acres, meanwhile I can't buy a townhouse in the market I live in? Well, okay, fair enough. That is fair. But my only was in terms of, you know, whitetail hunting parcels. What are you doing on your land that's this big? Wait, the 14? 
Um, G Barnhart, thank you so much for the super chat. It is. Can everybody see that? It sends me a, a thing in the chat, and I'm curious how it works. It says celebrate the first super chat from G Barnhart. So I am curious if that shows for everybody. Anyway, roses are red, white is pale. Holy, that's a small male. <laughs> Smoked. Anything good yet? Nothing. Nothing special yet. You do see it. Okay. I was just curious so I can know for the future. Making some breakfast burritos while there are no customers in the restaurant. Nice. Can I have one? Do animals ever become aggressive towards the dog slash can the dog get hurt? The dog can't get hurt, but I have had a Capercaillie attack my dog. I don't think any other animals do, but the Capercaillies go aggressive and they apparently can like try to get your dog. Again, won't hurt them, but it can't happen. That was one. Run them down. Hello there. Oh, too far forward. I've had a moose go after my dog when I was in a tripod. Oh, really? Imagine if they could damage your dog and you had to use like a med kit, like almost a horse survivor in Red Dead type of vibe. That'd be awful. Because then if you don't have one, <laughs> rip dog. Had a level three attack me on Medved? I've had a couple of threes attack me, but I usually shoot them before... I think I might have gotten a screenshot of one, like, mid-attack that I was able to shoot. It's always a little more fun when they're... You know, one you're definitely wanting to get when they attack. I cannot keep my gun straight today. That one's almost dead. It's gonna die right there. I thought there had been a third. Maybe not. I just see two. Rip Doge. Greetings from Arctic Norway. What's going on, man? Welcome on in. Appreciate you stopping by. What's up, country boy? We're doing good. We're just running around. We're smoking raccoon dogs. We've shot a fair few of them. We need to as well. Yeah, we're going to go and stop by the goose blind here. Just see if there's any landed out there. Maybe smoke a couple with the 22, something like that. We'll get this guy. And ran past it. That one. And we would fast travel, except it'll make everything go away, so we'll run it. How many rares do you have in Classic? Uh, I mean, over the years, quite a few. I wouldn't even be able to hazard a guess. Is Red Dead 2 worth it? I always skip the streams. It is if you're, like, as long as you can put the time in. Because it does. If you really try to, you know, speed through it, it'll still probably take you 30 to 40 hours to play the story. But you will get so immersed with it. it. I mean, genuinely, it's probably the best game ever made. What are the three rarest rares in this game? Oh, boy. That's a good question. Probably, like... I'm thinking maybe Red Fox. Like an albino or melanistic Red Fox would be up there. I don't know. Quail Albino quails, probably? Yeah, that's probably the rarest. I'm t there's probably some obscure rare that I'm not thinking of, like, not a gold Gensbuck specifically, but one of those that's not Albino Piebald Melanistic. Uh, Diego, thank you for the super chat and the super sticker. I certainly appreciate that. Mel has a list. Uh, hybrid Gray Leg, Hybrid Hazel Grouse. I forgot about the, the Hazel Grouse. And Albino Quail. Red Fox Bears have nothing on those three. I will say with the Gray Lags, because I have been shooting quite quite a few of them. I haven't had anything but commons. With the common, the different uh, common plumage types. Is Bison Albino rare? It is rare. Um, not on the same level as some other rares. You will see quite a few rare Bison, but still a, a definite rare. One of the cooler looking ones. Have you killed a melon turkey before? I shot a melanistic hen on Silver Ridge Peaks. I've never shot a melanistic gobbler. Albino chamois? Maybe they're rare now. Oh, oh, albinos are, yes. Leucistic and melanistics were overly rare. Albino chamois is a good one. Quite uncommon. Yesterday I built a mansion for my kittens after going to church. Nice. Uh, Dominique, thank you for becoming a shoestier. I certainly appreciate that. 
If you're not in the Discord, be sure to join that, link up your YouTube, get the member role, take advantage of all that good stuff, and enjoy the emojis here on YouTube. And the green name as well. What's up, Aizon? Just got my fifth diamond fellow of the ground. You're just smoking trophies here. That was gray legs. No males. This is what happens. Because I focus on shooting the males first. This actually kind of makes me think that I'm, I'm maybe correct in my theory with the raccoon dogs that you should shoot both males and females. But it could be a different mechanic too, like flocks versus packs or herds or whatever. But as I focus on the males first with these goose hunts, I see more and more flocks of just females. So I gotta try to kill them too, but I wanna see if anything's just sitting out here first. I don't think there are. In which case, we'll probably try to smoke one of those if we can. Yeah, we'll just give them a minute. They'll land. Ochre Javelina just looks like, like a normal piggy. Would have never shot it if I didn't get to disturb veg. Yeah, they're not very distinguishable from the brown fur type. Almost indistinguishable, I'd say. You're a flock of females? Thank you. If I gift 400 pounds, I think. <laughs> Do I get the blue name with a with a wench? Uh, yeah. <laughs> My first diamond was an elk. Nice. Got some golden eyes going through. There's some tough to duck that live around here, too. It's almost shotgun range. That's gonna land. We'll try to get, like, two or three. I have an albino hair. Is that rare or not? Um, I think all hair species albinos would be rare, so I'd say yes. I want, like, let's put the high Hyperion on. I want, like, two or three to land side by side, and that would be good. Those are close-ish. Let's do that. Oh, where'd it go? Ah, bugger. Couldn't find it. I'm so late? No worries, you're not even an hour late. Where's Del Cruz? We got more than an hour to go. I have a super troll hybrid gray lag? Oh my goodness. That is the saddest of sad. What is the status on your bear grind? Um, ongoing, I guess I would call it. I didn't mess with it all this weekend. I wanted to. It's funny how, like, I feel like my weekends are going to be my times to do things, and then I just don't have time to do it. Probably will try to do a video on that this week. I may do another, like, moose and bear video. I always like to at least do some, call them off-camera runs, before I do a video. And I want to say the last stream we did... Eh, maybe not. Because we did wait 100 both times last week. Now we could probably do a video then. I don't like to, say, stream a moose run and then immediately the next run I do is recorded. I like to have some in between just so, you know, there's maybe a better chance of something showing up. Happy to be here, wanted to be a member for so long. Well, I appreciate that. What's up, Nick? How's your game not crashed yet? Uh, I don't know. It does pretty good in single player. Multiplayer has some issues. Uh, my first diamond was a Wildebeest level 4. I didn't have spotting knowledge, so when I harvested I was extremely happy. Those are the cool ones. I Sometimes I want to just turn off spotting it, like, as a whole. Because when you get surprised by a diamond, like, when you really don't expect it, those are my favorites. And I, like, I noticed this in my content. I have a tendency, like, if there's a level 4 or something that's got, like, an outside chance to make diamond, I always end up saying that out loud, like, this could be a diamond, we'll see. And it's just like, I don't even want to... I want to be surprised, but I can't help but not be entirely surprised because I know it can happen. Hey, Chris, how's it going, man? Can't wait to unlock spotting when scoped. That is a game changer. Genuinely, like, that's the biggest, most important perk, in my opinion. Or skill. What's up, Six Savage? Why does everyone make such a big deal about albinos, Tigadir, and Rocky Mountain Elk? They're, they're quite rare. I'd say that's generally why. Third shot, got it. The gray lag trolled by 0 .01. I feel like I do, like, vaguely remember you saying that, but somehow I missed that it was a hybrid. This specific fur type looks weird. I guess the fur is shorter. I 
I killed a gray piebald raccoon. I was wondering if that's a name typo. A oh, gray piebald? Yes, that is a typo. I don't know why it's never been corrected, but I do know what you're talking about. I remember when you could not shoot a black tail deer with the 30 out six. You can only shoot them with the 243. Yeah, you actually couldn't. When the 30 out six came out, you couldn't shoot white tail with it. It was like a moose, elk, and bear gun, basically. Call of the Wild has been, like, genuinely, and especially going through the clips has kind of reinforced this. Call of the Wild has been a lot of different games in this game cycle. Like, it's been completely different games at different times. The albino lion you shot was the best? I'll never forget the story behind that, because I don't know that I completely explained it in the video. What I did was I actually shot... This was, again, Call of the Wild was a very different game at this time. I shot... A potential diamond kudu with birdshot and killed it quickly which back then was all that mattered if the weapon you were using and the ammo you were using was below the required class you could basically you know you could blast away you were good it was kind of a a building system so like for instance with the 454 you could shoot a cape buffalo twice but with the 338 i don't think you could it was it was really it was weird how it was designed but uh point being I was able to shoot this lesser kudu two or three times with birdshot. I think I used the semi-auto shotgun and shot it three times. And I killed it quickly. And I couldn't claim it. I was just so bummed because I've been trying to get a diamond kudu with birdshot. I just thought that would be cool. I knew it was possible. And I thought that would be a neat thing to do. And the, the server had crashed so I couldn't pick it up. I was bummed out for all of like four seconds because I joined another server and the first like there's an albino lion. Just the way things go. If I didn't kill that one, I, I guess I never would have gotten albino male lion. What's up, Buck Country? Uh, no, will not yet, at least. Could be this guy right here. Nope, not even close. Is that an aggressive moose? Must be aggressive at a lynx. Oh, I see it. No, it's not. Another one running across there. See if we can smoke that potentially, possibly. Nice. Why are the seven mil stats worse than the 308? That is a fantastic question. I don't know. <laughs> don't know why they did that. I think you should kill a diamond raccoon dog today. That'd be nice. I also think that. Is a level six red fox rare? Uh, no. I love the old how much bird shot to kill a buffalo. That one was fun because it took us a couple of attempts, I think, to, and maybe they're all in the video, I don't know, but I seem to recall lagging really bad when all of us shot this same Cape Buffalo with bird shot, because back then, I think every individual pellet was counted as a hit. It's not like now where a hit has like 37 hits or whatever, or a shot has 37 hits that show in one, here, I'll show you what I mean. So, if we shot this with Birdshot, up here it would say, like, 37 hits or 15 hits, however many pellets impacted it. I'm, I'm pretty sure, in that video, there was like 800 different pellets that hit the buffalo, so there were 800 hits listed. Are there two maps with links or three, just two? Revenue to the coast of Medved. Can female red fox make diamond? No. Uh, level 8, 12.05 or something like that. Kilo is their max for females. Why did you stop doing the Flinter Kill in Killer Instinct in Classic? Uh, that was kind of like a, a tips and tricks or attempt at tips and tricks type of series. And the biggest reason is, and I guess I could still call them that, but the biggest reason is like that's not necessarily good for YouTube unless it's a series that people are really familiar with. Naming it that is just taking up characters that could be in the title actually just explaining the tip or trick. 672, I was close. That's, I don't know if you just saw that or if you happen to remember it, but that's amazing. <laughs> I love when moose go aggressive in attack predators that aren't even phased by in real life. Yeah, it's uh, it's an interesting thing they've gone with. It's black, white again, I think. Or actually, I knew that because I got the thing. All right, listen to you. No, nope, not what I want. I think we hit like the hip bone and rolled it. 
I wish Buckshot was better in this game. It probably should be a little bit better. It would be nice. Let's make sure that's not a 9 before we just go blasting away, I suppose. Definitely not a 9. Getting Alpine Ibex on Classic setup. Nice. I want to go for them again. Getting that 282, like... It didn't make me not want to hunt them, but it makes me hunt them less in videos and stuff because there's less of like, I really want a big one because we actually have gotten the big one. Just cut that boy in half. Holy. I was two minutes behind. Blame mobile. When I was trying to watch Kyla's stream last night driving home, or listen to, I should say, it... Twitch mobile, I, I feel for all of you guys that complain about that. Now you know how I feel. It was so bad. Drugs. Remember when you killed that Cape Buffalo with a 22? Indeed, that remains one of the top like five most popular videos on this channel. That was fun. That was a good time. I have never, not once, used Buckshot in Call of the Wild. There was a, I don't want to call it brief time. There was a fairly significant time where <laughs> this is gonna sound stupid. 20 gauge Buckshot. Was the meta to kill geese? My first time in Goose, in Under Call of the Wild, was shot with 20 gauge buckshot. How would you, how would you figure that? Like I said, the integrity system was so goofy back then. That was what was allowed. Uh, did you ever get your buck mount? Yeah, um, I don't know when it was. Two, three weeks ago? I don't think I have the image thing where I can put it on screen, but it's on the community tab if you want to go and find the photo. It's maybe the last post I have on there. How's it even possible to get 2.4 million views on a Call of the Wild vid? I don't even know. Is that what the beginner one has? I don't know which has that many. What's that he says? Now I'm compelled to look and see. The Cape Buffalo? Oh, the Great One surpassed the Cape Buffalo. They're both a 1.7 in the... Beginner guides at 2.7, which is nuts because it's like five years old or something now. I was literally at 12 when the 22k Buffalo came out. It was a long time ago. I wish the 223 was too ethical for geese. Yeah, I remember experimenting with that too. They were stupid tough. Like, they'll fly off a little ways if you hit them with the 22 now. They're nothing like they used to be. I remember, like, what I was doing was. 223 soft points because like I thought the extra expansion would maybe make it more likely to just get quick kill on them like they were impossible it was crazy what it, what it used to be just got to work out realistic sounds good Bree. is there a single call the wild youtuber who has a million subs I don't think there's any who like largely focus on call the wild Fooster, I don't know if he still does call the wild content but he did a lot he is at maybe three quarters of a mil something like that what a beast stampede with Zaggy? That was a good one, too. I was so, like... I was so new to making thumbnails and stuff. That thumbnail is, a uh, Some kind of masterpiece, I'll tell you. The member alerts not work. I don't know. Scarecrow, thank you for the 25 months. Welcome back. Wild. Two plus years. That's because Canada Goose are majestic and tough boys? No, you. Uh, Cody coming in with the eight months as well. Welcome back. What's the best pre-built PC for Call of the Wild? I mean, I'm sure I won't be able to tell you the best because I'm naturally not familiar with all of them. But I have a, um, oh, what is it called? Skytech is the brand. They're just an Amazon pre-built PC brand. I've been fairly impressed with them. For... What I paid, I think it was like $1,700 for this one. It does a pretty decent job. It can't quite run Call of the Wild on Ultra, but I think these are high settings and it runs 60 very smooth. Fooster's last Call of the Wild vid was when Mississippi came out. Okay. I know they've been like big into Sons of the Forest and all that stuff lately, so they've been killing it. 
What did you think about an Australian map with kangaroo, dingoes, emus, emus or emus? Emus, I think. Uh, koalas, freshwater crocs, boars, and goats. I mean, personally, I would... I'd be happy with an Australian map in general. I would like to see... Some of the other, like, Rusa deer, sandbar deer would be options. Um, goats would have, they, that would be a must. I guess those, those would be the main things I'd want to see added on there. The deer species I mentioned. In addition to what you listed, I'd like it. Finally, a guaranteed gold raccoon dog will probably not make the shot to make it a gold, but that's fine. Axis deer also? We could do axis deer. I'm just... I don't know. I like the ones on Parquet, they just, they're off a little bit. I don't know what it is, but there's just a, there's something about it. Maybe it's the coloration, like, they, they're too light orange for me. Like, they just don't quite feel like real axis deer. Classics are kind of the same way. They're a little bit better, but same sort of vibe. It just isn't quite, isn't quite what I think of when I think of an axis deer. What are you doing? Okay. Ah, too high. They also have black buck in Australia, do they? Are they? They can't be native, right? Water buffalo? That's true. I was thinking of Pickabean Bay in, uh, in Classic. I'm not sure if among the species that he listed, if you could do water buffalo there too. Probably. I mean, you could find a way. Like I was saying earlier, Call the Wild or EW could very well just take creative liberties with certain things in maps, and that would be fine. The Axis Deer's antlers are too big. They're not like... I don't know, it's not way too big for me. It's it's maybe a little bit to the point of like, I don't know if I'd believe one being that big. But that's kind of the, the land I think a hunting game should live in. Like, just to the point of like, is that even possible? That That's where it should stop. And I think that's right about where Axis Deer actually are. I'd love to see an Asia map. Yeah, I think that'd be neat. There's a lot of potential species there. Got any of those diamonds? None yet. We just smoked our biggest raccoon dog in the hunt, though, so maybe we're moving in the right direction. Lots of them down here. No biggins. I think Call of the Wild would ever do elephants. If I'm being honest, I don't think Call of the Wild will, no. They do need a little bigger body. The axis deer? Yet, I think they need to be, like, they should be about as tall as Whitetail, but their legs should be a little bit longer. They're kind of slender, slenderer, <laughs> and a little bit taller. Or not, not a little bit taller, sorry, a little bit longer legs. I hope Way the Hunter does Africa. It's expected, I would say, at this point. Africa 2.0 needs now crocs, Australia needs salties, either way we need a new map with a croc uh, where they aren't the main species. Everyone hates Mississippi Acres because the gators are the only good thing. That's actually an assessment I hadn't really considered because I do think the gators for the most part went over pretty well. People were quite excited with them. Now I don't think people like that they could like disappear. Somebody I saw, I don't even know where this was, but I saw a post that uh, somebody mentioned that they don't like, disappear when they die underwater now? I don't know if that's true, but remove that from crocodiles if they ever had them and they're perfect. Like, I like everything about the crocs, or the gators rather, other than that fact. Whale Hunter nailed all the big game animal models? Yeah, and I think they, they very intentionally took the approach of like, putting their resources and stuff into big game, because I mean, frankly, that's kind of what everybody loves about hunting games. Hey, how many times can I get 12 gauge when I want the 7 mil? I don't know what all is going across there, but there's a, a migration of animals at the moment. It's that one. I think there's at least two more there. It's a lynx. That may be that male we have a track of. It is. Slow it on down over there. Well, I don't know if we'll find them all, but they're all dead. 
I think the Gators just need to be class 9 or even just 7. 7 would solve it. I don't think they need to be as challenging as they made them. Like, it's almost... Not that it's for no reason. I like that they did something more challenging. But... Can we run by that? We did. Um... Call of the Wild is just not, like... It's not their MO to make things super hyper-realistic and challenging and stuff. It's kind of like a more laid-back kind of game, and then there's Gators for some reason. Uh, so I bought the map that comes with the 300. Is it worth buying the 300? I think it's 95k. I want to say it's 75k. Um, if you don't have the 338 bolt from the Hunter Power Pack, I'd get the 300. Frankly, I think the 300 is better than 338, but the 338 is... You know, in that same class, anyway. Oof! Not only did the blood <laughs> look insane there, I heard the pellets hit the bird. <laughs> I heard that one too. You have the 338. Uh, if you have other stuff to spend your money on, I'd I'd wait for now. If you have, you know other guns or scopes or tents and tripods you want to get, I think you're fine to wait. Splattered them, literally. No meat left? Imagine if it was a buckshot, like, uh, like we were saying before when that used to be allowed. We're missing a female raccoon dog we killed, but... Eh. It's fine. After last night, I... Uh, wait, bro, after last night... I'm confused about the first part. I also love the sound of the 7 mil. It's... All around, animations, sound, um, all that stuff is my favorite from the power pack. Pre-ground growls? Yeah, just, you know, make it into patties and you're good to go. Or one half a patty from whatever's left. How do I say your name, man? Is it ESS Hunts or S? Either way, welcome in. Good to have you here. I wish the wolves and Call of Duty had the same movements as the wolves in Classic. I think I know what you're talking about. I think the fluidity of Call of the Wild's wolf movement is better. But I know what you're talking about, like some of the animations, the interspecies, like playing and stuff is cool. Ground for a slider? True. 330, it looks like a 50 cal. Yeah, the model they've gone with is really more of like a, a target gun you could call it a sniper rifle I suppose um, but you know you can hunt with stuff like that what gun should I use for whitetail anything from the 7 mil to the 30 out 6 to the 308 AR-10 any of those will do fine do I need to be picking everything up when I'm great one crowding personally I do I there's differing opinions out there on whether or not it matters. There's people that say 100% don't pick up your stuff, it does not matter. And there's people that say something changed, like you do need to pick up your stuff. There was definitely a consensus that you didn't have to at one time. Um, whether or not that's actually been changed, I don't know. So, if it were me, and I don't know, I'm picking everything up. Because that would be awful to just be wasting your time. Nice. Did we kill one here? Were we tracking one or did we just have tracks? I think we just had tracks. Next big turkey you get is if I can get a big turkey to begin with, but maybe. Uh, you should do a cape mount. Cheaper than a full mount and looks amazing. A cape mount. I've never heard of a cape mount for a turkey. Is that the one that's like, like basically just below the beard? And then if you made a circle around the entire body from that? I don't know if that's going to make sense. But just kind of like up behind the head a bit and down to below the beard. If that's what you're talking about, I do like those. Another five of spawn? Nice. What diamonds do you need? We need raccoon dog, gray lag goose, and tundra bean goose still. Maybe that's what we ought to do. I didn't consider the fact that it was going to take us an hour and a half to get through raccoon dog territory. It's not a bad thing. That means we've been having success. But for whatever's left, maybe we'll jump up north and shoot a whole bunch of tundra bingies. It was the area that we killed the diamond in early access. We have a set up there uh, here in the live game. We just haven't seen a big one there. That was a... Oh, wait, what? Oh, I can hear... <laughs> I can hear uh, Eurasian teal. So for a second, I thought we had a diamond. But these are geese.
Not like it used to be. Oh, there we go. Bean Goose was made for Mistress. If she doesn't have like 87 diamonds of those, I'll be disappointed. How's the new Bolt 338 compared to the old 338 for Quick Kill? They should be like exactly the same. We actually did, like, in anticipation of the uh, Bolt Action 338 coming out, we did a hunt, we were just Medved Moose grinding, and we were just kind of going back and forth, 300 to 338, just sort of comparing, and kind of tying that in with the video that I de then did comparing the 300 and the Bolt 338, the two 338s seem to perform exactly the same. You heard your name? Do you have 87 different Diamond Tundra Bean Goose? If not, I'm disappointed. Uh, you don't need to pick up bodies. One of my friend hunts by killing everything, then just resets the system. As long as the animal dies, it'll respawn on map reload. Has he killed great ones with that method? Because that's where the, um... Controversy? Not controversy, that's a... It's not the right word. That's where the conflicting... Opinions are? It's specific to the great one thing? Did you look for the Mellow Moose on Yukon? Yeah, I couldn't find it. I think... There actually was a moose population reset with the New England update, which is where that save was from. So that moose population is separate from my live game moose population. The single shot 7 mil feels more powerful than the bolt for some reason. To me, they seem to be about the same, and it might be fun to test it. See if there's any differences there. He hunts great one white tails, and he has seven of them. Well, there you go. I personally hate that hunting method though. Oh yeah, um, when it was like definite that you didn't have to pick stuff up, and I was doing the great one red deer grind, and it was taking me forever. I was basically the last of the EW content creators that were grinding for great ones at least to get one. And everybody was saying like, you know, it'll speed you up, don't claim your stuff. And it was just, for me, it was always like, that's just not in the spirit of the game. Like whether or not it works to let your stuff lay. I don't think the devs made the game... I, I don't think the devs made it that way and thought, well, you don't have to kill, claim your stuff if you don't want to. I really think they did that to curb the main menuing. Um, what would you call that? Exploit, I guess. Of if you... It doesn't really work anymore. But if you shot a thing, it died and you know you messed up the shot, you could go to the main menu and uh, exit the game and come back and it would be alive again. Now you can't do that, but now things respawn without claiming them. There, there's no winning there, but for me, it's just, it's basically an exploit. I think the 338 bolt looks like it should be chambered in 338 Lapua. It is. Um, well, they said it's modeled after the 338 Lapua. Technically, it's just a regular 338 ammo, but I, yeah. Yes and no, I guess, for that. I would like if they did new ammo. That would be cool. We can main menu if they haven't died yet. But we're going to not get into how to exploit the game today. <laughs> What's your least favorite animal to hunt in Call of the Wild, Way the Hunter, and Classic? Of all three games combined, one least favorite animal? Hmm. Probably Link's in Classic. They're, like, when you find them, they're fun. Sometimes you can just go forever without finding one, though. How do you get drop shots on bears with the bow in Classic? Provided that you're close enough to make a precise shot. Just shoot them right in the shoulder. Like, all the bear's hitboxes are really weird. Their lungs are, like, scrunched up. I wish I wish that bear was still standing there, I'd show you. But their lungs are, like, scrunched up basically, like, from the armpit and forward to the front of the shoulder. It, it's just, the hitboxes are off, basically. So if you shoot them right through that shoulder, you're usually good. How much longer are you going to stream for? Eh, 40 minutes. Be cool if they had incendiaries. Speaking of similar things, not exactly the same. We raided Sir Wyatt over on Twitch. He's one of the 
Super consistent Twitch viewers. I assume he's probably here on YouTube sometimes too, but YouTube chats are faster, so I may miss him. But he was showing that, you know the, uh, the perk in shotguns? It is called, not that, where's it at? Tracer shot. Ability to trigger a tracer shot when firing shotguns, pellets will leave behind smoke trails indicating the spread of the bullet. It is not just pellets. He showed us you can indeed do that with slugs as well, and it it looks almost the same as Way the Hunter uh, bullets. You kind of see them going through the air. It's kind of cool. I wish shotgun slugs were a little bit, you know, more useful in the game, but that is what it is. Can we hit that? Nice. How do you get skill and perk points? When you level up, up until level 37, every level, you'll get a skill or perk point. It goes back and forth, so when you hit level 2, you get a skill. When you hit level 3, you get a perk, and so on. When you hit level 37, it will start to be every other level you get a skill or perk point. I don't know why they did that. It's a really weird design, but it is what it is. Hunting with the Dragon's Breath. This is classic to bow, right? That's a raccoon doge. A small one. Smoked. Is the max level 60? Yes, and I wish they'd change that. It's, it's a weird number to stop at, in my mind. I'd prefer they just didn't stop. I've equated it to what Rocket League did. They had max level 75 for probably a couple years, and then at some stage, they just removed the level cap. Now, I don't know how they determined, uh, like, how much XP you got afterwards, because, you know, people were level 75 for two years or something, and then they did it. And when they did this update, based on how much time you had played and, you know, what achievements you had gotten and all that, your level went way up. So, like, I went from level 75 to 300 and who knows what. I think they could do the same in Call of the Wild based on rifle score or whatever, and just remove the level cap and let people get as high a level as they can. Big mail. Using every skill would be pretty OP though. Just uh, remove the, like, cap the skill and perk points at 60 and then let the level cap keep going. I don't know if it would be that OP either. I've thought about that. Like, there are ones that help, but once you hit level 60, like, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know, other than you know, going through rifles and stuff, my shots would be a little little steadier. You know, I could reload faster and all that. I don't know that any of these skills help me do a single thing, frankly. <laughs> like, I don't know that they change the way I play. Would it be nice? Sure. I don't know that it, like, makes it... Like, I don't know that it hurts the game balance. Not gonna use this if it's just a small one. Let me max out at level 12? Now you're thinking. Hey, Graham, appreciate you stopping in. I just happened to see, I don't know if you recall when you stopped in on Friday. You uh, dropped your resub right as we were killing that level 5 mountain goat. I was making the clip for that. And what was that this morning, I guess? And I saw your resub pop up. I think it's in the clip. It must be. I wish you could get pack mule and disturb veg. Yeah, you can't, huh? The th like, they're making weapons so light anymore. The the 7 mil is 3.5, I think. The 308 is 3.5. You barely need Pack Mule, to be 100% honest. Do you like the Mediator series? Of course. One of my absolute favorites. Haven't been in the stream for a while. How's it going? Going good. Uh, we have not, at least so far, been able to get any of the three diamonds we're missing, but shot a whole bunch of stuff. One of these days on Revan Tuli, I never think to do it. But before the stream... I need to look at our kill count, because, I mean, we could, I have no doubt. In the last 30 minutes, we've killed 20 things. So we've probably shot, who knows, 50, 60 animals this hunt. I'd like to know the total. Do you hunt in real life as well? I do. There are, on this channel, probably close to 50 different hunting videos from 2019 coming up to present. Uh, actually, tomorrow. The elk hunt that my brother went on in Colorado is dropping on this channel. Speaking of that, that video did really well over on the Meat Hunter channel, so for those of you that have watched it, I appreciate that. If you want to see it, it's over there now. And if you want to wait, it will drop on this channel 
Well, it's gonna say this time tomorrow. This time tomorrow plus 35 minutes. Are you gonna get to hunt your pronghorns this year? I don't think so. Um, boy, it's probably gonna be 2025 at the earliest now. Because this year... I guess we could swing it this year, but... There's a... I don't know when, but we're supposed to hunt with a... Like a mutual friend in Georgia. I don't know when we're doing that. That could be when we would otherwise hunt pronghorn. 2024, Kyle and I are getting married, so... You know, saving our, our travel and expenses that year for all that. So maybe 25. How did that miss? Elk greater than West Virginia white elk confirmed. Oh, the nice thing is you can hunt elk earlier in the year, so it's all good. I guess you can hunt pronghorn earlier in the year, too. Any diamonds yet? No diamonds. What is the best meat in your opinion? I mean, I'm not nearly as, like, versed in worldwide cuisine that, as most people. I'm a, I'm a sheltered lad, but elk is pretty darn good. As far as wild game goes, elk would probably be my current favorite, but we go through so much venison, it's a good thing we really like that, because, I mean, Dad just sent us home yesterday with, for one, I don't know where he got it, but he got, like, a bunch of ground pork for, like, breakfast sausage and stuff, he sent me, like, three pounds of that, and then we have a back strap, like, six more pounds of ground venison, we're just always using that stuff up. He told me we're still going through 2021 back straps, so we're gonna start... Start requesting a couple of them. Is ostrich like a really good chicken? I can only imagine it would have to be. Although, it wouldn't completely shock me if ostrich was red meat. Because what's that, um, is it Sandhill Crane? Ribeye of this guy? I can imagine for some reason ostriches being in that category. You have a question? What's up? Where's the best places on this map to hunt? I mean, honestly, anywhere. One of the cool things about Riven Tooley, because of all the bird species in the small game too, your raccoon dogs and mountain hares and stuff, almost anywhere you go, you're gonna be tripping it, tripping over stuff and, and running into different opportunities to shoot things. If you're on this map, bring yourself a shotgun with a bird shot and you'll be all set. It's steak, red meat, really? Interesting. I guess I'll have to try it sometime. Seeker deer is supposed to be among the best venison. I have heard they're really good. My sister's fiance, he didn't go, but he has a couple of friends that shot one in uh, in Maryland. He said the, the hunt itself was miserable because, like, mosquitoes were really bad wherever they were at. But apparently they did feel that it was worth it because the meat was that good. Shark is great. Like a firmer tuna. I'm not a huge seafood fan in general, but I'd try shark. Though, that's kind of not... Not that it's not true. I typically don't opt for seafood. But... When my brother and I went to Texas in 2020, right before the pandemic, we were actually... We went to the rodeo in Houston. The legit, the last rodeo before they closed, like, everything for COVID. The rodeo the next night didn't happen. So, uh, anyway. We, on our way home... Stopped at the, like, the Pyramid Bass Pro in Memphis, Tennessee. And they have, like, a, a big restaurant in there. I don't know what, I had some kind of salmon. It was so good. Which diamonds do you have left? Raccoon Dog, Grey Leg, and Tundra Bean Geese. Breaking news, meat if cooked right is good. You know, you might be onto something here. If you've never hunted swordfish with a sword, you're not a real man. You're right. Lots of small males. I know, this is small male central out here. I thought, I really did. We killed those 30 or 40 raccoon dogs. I thought we were going to come out here and stumble into at least like a mythical or two. Maybe a troll nine, which God, please no. <laughs> they troll a lot too, which doesn't give me great confidence that the first level nine raccoon dog we still make it, but maybe we'll get that lucky. I don't know what to do. Like, I keep running into this predicament 
in Call of the Wild right now. It's like, do I just grind raccoon dogs a night? Do I just, you know, suck it up, spend a week, do that, and like, put the Great One grinds on the back burner for a bit? Or do I keep trying to do that? And then I just go back and forth. What's up, Joe? Oh, it's been pretty good. We were killing a bunch of stuff. Nothing big yet, but still got time. Got my first mule deer this year. Nice. What weapon do you use for Canadian geese? If I'm sitting in the blind, like, you know, just hunting them normally, I'll typically have the 12 or 16 gauge. Does pretty good. If I just see them in the distance, though, 22 LR all the way. The AR-22 does fine, but the Virant, because it's got a 10 round mag, I find it to be a little bit better. Why did you shoot the dog? It was a level 9. Don't name the dog legendary next time, okay? They need to fix quads? What's broken with quads? Raccoon dog diamonds as hard as black bear great one? I hope not. I don't know how many raccoon dogs we've killed in total. It has been a lot, because I couldn't tell you how many streams and videos we've done where the entire premise is run through the south of Reventuli and try to get one. And normally we kill a lot of raccoon dogs on those hunts, but, you know, it's it's not quite to the same level that we grinded for black bears, that's for sure. A longbowed a super rare mellow moose a couple days ago? That's pretty cool. When you tip, you fly off? Really? I haven't used a four-wheeler in Call of the Wild in a while. Wouldn't entirely shock me if they were broken. There's a lot of, like, okay raccoon dog tracks and just no big ones. Like, I've seen more six to eight kilo tracks than ever before. Just no eight to tens, speaking of. Got any friends that are back in there? Because I'm guessing the reason he came out of there, they probably spooked down and came back up. What was your OG dream trophy? Like, from the beginning? I mean, I wanted the Diamond Whitetail for forever. I'm going to make a clip of that. Our first Diamond Whitetail ever. Probably later this week. As far as, like, super rares and stuff, though. I mean, at least since Verhunka came out, I've wanted a, a Bighorns Leucistic Diamond K Buffalo. I like the Russian roulette of ATV riding in the game. Reckon you're getting yeeted three outposts over. I went and checked not too long ago. The spot on Verhunga still works. If you just tip your quad over, it's, um, I won't spoil what the mission does, but the last, there we go. That's a little better. The last, uh, mission on Verhunga takes you to a cave. Right by that cave, if you go, like, out from the opening of the cave and go the opposite direction... There is a really steep cliff that's basically a 90 degree drop off. If you just ease down over that drop, the game sends you flying about a kilometer. It's quite enjoyable. I always wanted to, because jackals used to be down there. I always wanted to get a friend to like spot a jackal and I would go flying off of there from the ATV and try to hit it. It's, it's darn near impossible. I had a couple attempts at it, but was never able to do it. Why are you using the Hyperion instead of the Argus? Um... I don't know. <laughs> I thought I had the Argus equipped. I do on something. I took it off the 22 because we were shooting geese earlier, but... I don't know why it's not on the 243 to begin with. Well, that's good news. I'll level 8. <laughs> Get a little somewhere. I guess the time put in maybe helped a bit. Please make a short on that. Oh, the flying thing? Yeah, I can. There's a couple of shorts I need to make. I want to make one for this channel, talking about like a, a little loadout recommendation, I guess I might call it. I want to do that one that you talked about. Oh, and one of these days, I want to just sit down and like give the full three or four minute spiel on like how I got my name, because people ask me that all the time. And I'll just do a clip for the Clips channel, put that out there, and then if people want to hear the story, they can just click a link in the chat when we make a command. 
best map for Red Fox is probably New England. I haven't messed with it much, but people say it's a really, really good Fox map. Both Gray and Red Fox. And I think they drink at the same time, which is kind of fun. A short would... A short on that would be great. We can make it happen. Is it easier to hunt Raccoon Dog in the daytime like you do now or drink time at night? You'll kill way more of them if you hunt them at night. The reason I don't tend to do that in content, other than like two weeks ago, is it's just, it's difficult. Like, when you're watching on a phone screen, speaking of mythicals, when you're watching on a, a little screen or even big screen, when you're looking at, you know, the beam of light and nothing but darkness everywhere else, it's just not an enjoyable watch, so I try to avoid doing that. They need to do a Boone and Crockett system in this game? I would really prefer if they would. I'm glad that they went away from like the standardized scoring system, but a more or less completely arbitrary system doesn't <laughs> really fix it. It makes it to where each animal has a unique score, but those unique scores don't mean anything. Like, what I'm saying is, if you took a 270 typical whitetail in this game and showed it to a real life hunter, they'd be like, that's not a 270. That's a, I don't know, 210 or something. I'd have to look at them. They're probably not that big. The tines aren't that long. Either way. Whereas in Classic, you take a 205 whitetail, and like any real life hunter knows, a 200 inch whitetail is like the pinnacle. But typical whitetail don't get the 270. They just don't. The world record whitetail is 213, I think. They're like 180. That's probably more accurate, because all those tines at the end are like an inch long. What's up, Tyler? I hate the way the hunters standardized scoring system. Yeah, like, it's good for people that don't hunt or haven't played the game before, because it's really easy. Like, that animal scores 500? All right, that's as big as they get. But the more you play, the less and less those scores start to mean. But I get a 215 score in Whitetail in real life? If I ever kill a 200, typical or non-typical, I will... I don't know what I'll do. Cry. I've many times, like, I've looked at my 180 and I've thought, like, okay, if his G4 is matched, because there's, like, a 3-inch deduction there, that brings him up to, like, a 183, and then if his brow tines reach 3 inches longer, right, now he's a 189, and then maybe if his stickers matched, you'd have, like, I forget what it is, 16 or 18 inches of uh, abnormal, so he's, like, a 196. It's amazing to think, like, as big as that buck is, all those increases of times, and it's still not a 200. To get a 200 inch whitetail is, there's so much that has to go right in like the antler growth process. And then, you gotta hope that he doesn't fight with another buck and break him off before you get to him. Now in the case of like here, in PA, if, a, if there's a 200 inch buck, he is probably so much bigger and so much older than every other deer, there's just not gonna be any that fight him. Like, it'll just look at them and scare them away. The one I got, I mean, he had literally zero, like, even broken ends of tines. Just guarantee. He never had to really do any fighting to assert dominance. The biggest deer is 327. The biggest non-typical, yes. I don't even think it's 327. It's three... Well, that might be the biggest hunter shot one. The Missouri Monarch is 337, I think. What have I missed? Uh, nothing crazy. We're just running around basically shooting all kinds of stuff. We have not gotten any of the diamonds that we're after. Excuse you. Just got off work. Any diamonds yet? None to speak of to this point. Hopefully we'll still smoke one by the end here. We'll see. That wasn't a... Okay. We spotted that level 3 female, so I wasn't sure. Honestly, I don't know what I'm doing with the 243. I shouldn't bother with it until a big one comes out. That's why I didn't shoot that 10 point last year as G4 was broken off by mid-October. It's... It's crazy that that's like a possibility. I don't know that I've ever had to do that. I don't know if I've ever had a target buck 
like break a ton and then I've had to pass it. Well, kinda. It wasn't even necessarily a target buck, it was just a really nice three-year-old buck. And before the season even opened. So like, by October 1st, he had broken off almost every time. He was basically an, an illegal deer. He didn't have three points on one side anymore. He just completely ruined his antlers. The sound of you clicking your keys on your computer to satisfy? Well, good. I remember back in the day, I had a very, a very clicky mouse. And I would get comments every now and then. This is like before I had music and stuff in the videos, so the clicks were more pronounced, obviously. But I would get comments like, you should get a quieter mouse. This is breaking the immersion. So I'm glad there's a little bit of the other side of it, too. What do you think happened to it, Soup? Out of curiosity. Oh, is that a billion? What's going on, dude? Hello from France. What's going on, man? Welcome on in. Just put a picture of my Melodiamond Red Deer in Discord. I'll be sure to check that out after the stream. I, for one, like to click. Well, good. You have a very loud mouse. Does it squeak? I was hoping we could get that hazel grouse. I'd love to get a couple more diamonds. The rares for them are neat. But there's not a lot of them where we hunt for raccoon dogs, so we don't typically encounter them. Anyway, speaking of raccoon dogs, we're pretty much out of raccoon dog territory. Maybe this is the hazel grouse. We'll look here. Diamond to the left. Oh, there he is! Female. There was a male. Is it this? It is. Yeah, it's pretty small. All right, we're just gonna jump up here and shoot some bean geese for a while. Why not? Your mouse wheel, wheel squeaks. Mine kind of grinds. I don't know what to call that. Troll to the right. That's that sounds about right. <laughs> what rifle am I using for the raccoon dogs? I was using the seven mil, which is entirely unethical, but it kills them quickly, which was the point there. I don't even remember how I. Oh, there's a bunch of moose. Imagine if there was a great one out there. There he is. The great one. Level two. Why is the alert? The ptarmigan scared him. That's why he's alert. Sense make. I had like... Some coming in too, so I guess we'll go here. I had like a... A blind and a tripod and all kinds of stuff. So which color... We'll try to bring them in if we can get a couple, that would be nice. Some smart hunters would attempt to spot the geese that are coming in. Canada's up here too. None of these are looking semi-interesting. There's gotta be some, there's a three. Bunch of threes. The biggest male I've ever seen. I'm sorry, Soup. You love these lakes? It's a cool spot. What do I think? I think you realized that it was going to be as fun as you... I think... You realized it wasn't going to be as fun as you once thought, and then the anger was a bum of a game anyway. It was... I did it once or twice with Wade the Hunter, because I felt like the graphical styles meshed better, but it was more of like... Specifically when the legendary fish in the angler came out, I just didn't like how they were done, so I just... kind of moved away from it for the moment. We'll come back to it eventually, we will. Whenever you guys feel like coming down here, as much as I like the waterfowl rework, geese circle for five times too long. Did you fix the Twitch sounds for YouTube? Somebody did a, uh, you smell like pudding earlier. What? Somebody did a you smell like pudding earlier. It's still broken? It's not broken, it's just for some reason, well, I guess you could call that broken. It, it works, if that's what you're getting at. This isn't what is supposed to happen. Well, thank goodness for 22s. We'll just, yeah, what the heck. We'll, we'll let as many, you look different. Is that normal? He's kind of white in the chest. It's probably just the gray. You're gonna take off, so. Uh, ah. Wanted to get that other mail. I knew he was over there.
Lucky day, sir. Do you know how predators get scored? In real- I mean, for most in real life, it's either by weight or it's length of skull and width of skull. Hey, I'm just here so I don't get fined. Thanks, Marshawn. <laughs> Which is, I guess, what Call of the Wild stimulating in this game, but, I mean, technically it's kind of just random. Just to like gray. It's a gold, at least. <laughs> I already get ridiculed for hunting virtual animals. I'd be Those absolutely... Nice tracks. Want to follow them. I do want to follow them. I think that was this map that had that. Um, I'd be absolutely torn apart by my family for sitting and waiting for virtual fish to bite. We used to have Sega Bass Fishing. We used to play that at my house all the time. Right after we went fishing, too. Like, we'd go fishing. Maybe, maybe not catch them. And then come home and play Sega Bass Fishing. It was good times. You didn't have enough points for the skill issue. If I wasn't afraid of... Uh, copyright drugs, I would just make that a thing on YouTube. I don't think that... Well, no, that's just... Yeah. Depends on who uploaded that. What did I miss? Nothing crazy. We shot a whole bunch of uh, raccoon dogs today, but... No big ones. One mythical. So I guess that's a plus. No legendaries, no rares. We did think we had a pie ball too, which was, you know, fun for a while until it turns out that it wasn't. Have you ever gone duck hunting in real life? I haven't. I'd like to. You think they'll incorporate fishing into this game? Expansive Worlds has made their own fishing game called Call the Wild the Angler. I would say that it's in a... Less than full release state, but it's a fully released game. It, it feels like an early access game. So, you know, what I'm saying is... If you hear that and think, oh, I can't wait to buy it, it may be worth waiting a while. What damage we're missing? Greylag and Tundra Beanies and Raccoon Dogs. Take your time, fellas. I don't even know why I'm planning on shooting with the 12 gauge. I mean, if they circle and fly right down here, but I bet they'll land in the same spot. Have you been snowmobiling before? Yes. Uh, this. Past December, it was the day after Christmas, we did a, I can't even remember exactly, oh yeah, I do, I do know what it was. We did a snowmobiling like excursion, I guess you might call it, up to the Continental Divide in Colorado. It was very fun. Well, it was for me. Kyla was feeling very sick on the back of the snowmobile. Not like motion sick, just she wasn't feeling well that day, so she was just hanging on for dear life by the end. More males, that's a male. Oh. You smell like pudding. Thank you. If smelling like pudding makes me shoot like that, I'm gonna buy some... I can't think of... What's the brand that makes the pudding cups? Huh. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. Any off-trail? Uh, no. I mean, I've never... That was the first time I've ever been on a snowmobile. We've never owned them. Uh, they're really fun to ride around on, but... You know... We don't get enough snow to where, like, that would be the more practical thing. Like, four-wheelers with chains pretty much get us anywhere we need to go, and they work in the fall and spring and summer, so we never had one. Snack pack, that's it. Or fun pack if you're Canadian, I guess. Huh, apparently it's this time again. Well, Mel, thank you for the 19 months. Welcome back. Certainly appreciate that. Doesn't Jello make them? I think Jello makes pudding cups too, but snack packs the ones I'm thinking of. Which may be a Jello, um. What's the word? Like. In the same way that Scent Blocker is Scent Locks, like, cheaper brand, snack pack could be a Jello brand. Have you ever caught a trout in real life? Many a trout over the years. Kyla, thank you for the nine months. Welcome back. Appreciate you. We now have a YouTube baby, so I don't know what that means. We have snack pack here in Canada, too? Alright, that's just soup, then. <laughs> Glad to know I can pass off my brutal memory as it's fun pack in Canada. Well, I mean, <laughs> I tried to give you credit <laughs> for knowing it. You seemed, there was a lot of conviction. There was an exclamation mark there, so I figured that must have been it. Yeah, that, that's their jingle bottom boy. You got it. 
<laughs> what's your favorite game? What's your favorite hunting game of all time and why? Give 12 good reasons. Okay. It's the Hunter Classic, and my 12 good reasons are it's the Hunter Classic times 12. I might run and buy a snack pack chocolate pudding. I don't remember. It must have been. It was right before I we uh, moved into the house here. I'm going to say it was maybe when Kylo uh, came to visit in my apartment when I still lived there. July 4th of 21? That would have been. Because she was there for that trip and like literally in the truck on the way home or on the way to the airport for her to fly home. Uh, she actually found the listing for the house that we ended up buying. But anyway. Um... <laughs> I saw it online or something I didn't come up with this but when she got to the apartment I had on the kitchen table a two or four pack of snack pack chocolate pudding and a note that said thank you for putting up with me she thought that was really funny <laughs> these guys are kind of landing in shotgun range ooh maybe ah it's a female I want a male there were males there's a male Now I want pudding? You smell like pudding. And out of range. Well, there's there were two males. I know there were. My memory's gonna look like... What are you doing here? My memory's gonna look like soup here, though. Maybe there was only one. I don't know. Well, we'll shoot that level three. What's that one over there? There we go. Okay. I've not completely lost it yet. Three. Okay, bye. Any big males? Nothing, nothing crazy. One mythical raccoon dog, which was, I guess, in terms of the main thing that we focused on, the best kill to hunt. You don't just smell like pudding, you are pudding. Thank you. I think that's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. Where was the other one? Oh, he's... I guess that's shallow enough he's not floating? How do I get over there? Since Lamar Jackson's leaving the Baltimore Ravens, do you think Joe Flacco will be come back? Nah. The Ravens are kind of... in a bit of the same way that the Steelers are generally, like, build through the draft and build for the long term. The Ravens are... they kind of build their teams that way, too, so... They'll either roll with, um... Tyler Huntley this year and see what they can do, or... Maybe they'll trade up in the draft? I mean, what they can do, right? If they deal Lamar Jackson before the draft, they could acquire enough draft capital to trade up and get maybe Anthony Richardson if they want to go with a similar type of quarterback. Because they're built to run that offense. You know the thing I wanted to find on this purse? I just found one? Nice! Wait. Oh! I was thinking of the wrong thing. Now I know what it, now I know what it is. Even nicer. I thought it was a five-star bear. <laughs> What's up, Jeremiah? Can someone tell me what gun he's using for the geese here? Just the 22 Byron. From Weapon Pack 1 DLC. Are you ready for new NFL rules and personnel changes? I think it's going to be interesting. Um, it sounds like they're not looking into changing that uh, the Philadelphia QB push play. So it'll be interesting to see like how D coordinators and stuff scheme to stop that because way more teams are going to run it this year so it's going to be interesting I like it um, there's always that back and forth because I think about the era like 2009 to 2013 passing yards were just nuts like Drew Brees threw for more than 5,000 yards a couple times in there I think Rodgers did once or twice Peyton Manning did I think twice Brady had I think a 5,000 yard season like all and Stafford too all these guys were throwing for ridiculous yardage Mahomes has done it here as of late, but nobody else really does. Like, teams have kind of figured out how to defend it a bit. And it's always, like, it's fun to watch the back and forth, kind of. Like, offenses figure something out, defenses figure out how to stop it, and then it then it's the offense's turn to figure out how to... There was Northern Lights I just saw. It's the offense's turn to figure out how to, off of what the defense is now stopping, come up with a new scheme that's going to expose that defense. It's cool. That's why I like football. Hate that the MLB added new bigger bases? I mean, is it stupid? I don't know. They're trying to make the sport more interesting for casual fans. Like, I am one of them. <laughs> because it's just, it's a little boring to watch if you're not really into it. Like, if you don't under, 
if you don't well understand the strategies and the what would you call it the nuances of the game I guess it's not fun to watch if you understand it it's it's as fun as any other sport Jacksepticeye and Laserbeam made Call the Wild videos at some point? They did. Laserbeam did... He was in the Early Access thing. I don't know if he ever did it after that. Jack did a couple. He actually... He played a good bit of the Hunter Classic. Early, early on in his channel's days. Do you watch basketball? Not really. If it happens to be on, I'll watch it, but... That's about it. Like, if, if I... If I turn the TV on, and I'm choosing what I'm watching, there's a 0% chance like I'm turning on basketball. If I walk into somebody's house and basketball's on, yeah, I'll watch. The Discord announcements away the 100 thumbnail? Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. Th that's YouTube doing its thing? Because for me, like the thumbnail I see in my Discord post is Call the Wild, and a lot of people see Call the Wild. I don't know why YouTube is like this. Do you watch hockey? Uh, not really. Football is the only sport that I really, like, watch a good bit of. I'll watch, you know, almost anything that's on, if it's on. Like, for instance, when I was hunting with Bottom Boy in West Virginia, the World Series happened to be going on. I think, well, not the World Series, but the tournament for it. It was, uh, the Guardians and the Yankees, actually. We watched almost, if not all of whatever game was there that day. And I think the next day was Thursday Night Football, so we watched... It was a terrible game. Was it Washington and Chicago, I think? It was like 12-9 to 9 was the final score. But yeah, like, I enjoy watching sports, but I can understand and enjoy football the most, so that's kind of what I seek out. Three minutes. Okay, I don't think we're getting another flock of geese in time, so why don't we... Uh, where it would make sense. Nothing drinking right now. Let's go here and run and see if we can get a raccoon dog again. Football doesn't make sense to me. That's why I watch UFC. Hey, that one's not... Well, <laughs> there's a lot of nuances up with it too, but it's not too hard to understand. That guy beat up that guy. There's rules, but you know. What's up, Noah? Are you using decoys for those geese? Yes. Do you play sports? Not anymore. My God, dude. <laughs> It's, it's so, it's alarming, and I, I started to realize it a couple of years ago, but like, how much minor injuries, how much more they hurt than when you were younger, and how much longer it takes to heal. Like, I'm 25. I thought, you know, when I, when I was, I don't know, 12, and my dad would hurt his back or something, and it would take him like a week, like, you know, he'd be kind of walking around hunched over. I thought it would, you know, when I'm 50, that's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I hurt my back last week and I was doing that for like three days. I'm like, dude, what the heck? It really, it gave me a little, an extra level of like respect for athletes. Cause you know, there's quarterbacks playing into their forties now and running backs into their mid thirties. And you know, certain Jerry Rice played into his forties. The amount of pain those guys were in all the time. And I know they have treatments and shots and all this stuff to make it go away at least momentarily. But there's... You think you see these dudes in peak physical shape and you're just like, well, they can't get hurt. Nah, they're hurting too. <laughs> what, you're 32? I know, man, I know. It's only, it's all, all downhill from here, as they say. If you want to get to know a guy, watch a game with him? I mean, true. That's another, another reason I like football as well. It's the perfect amount of, like, action going on, like, focus on the game but then in between every play there's enough time to be like I don't know man third and one I'd run it and then your buddy who's sitting in the room's like they, they can't run all day you gotta throw this and it's like I don't know man. if you run it and get half a yard you go for it on fourth down and then they run the play it's just enough time it's the best what sports did you play I played baseball basketball and football I only played football for a year I played baseball in total for like five years. I played four years when I was really young and then one in high school. Then I did basketball for two years. The back pain's real at 25 years old, isn't it? It's weird. They didn't prepare me for this. They didn't tell me in school that I was going to be feeling like an old man at 25. Really enjoyed the streams? Well, thank you. What position in basketball? 
Well, if I was not bad, I would have been point guard, but I was bad. <laughs> and I couldn't, I can't even remember the positions I haven't played, played or followed basketball in so long. Whatever the guys that are under the basket are called, I wasn't that because I'm two feet tall. Wing? The opposite two, basically, that are left? I want to say we called that a wing. Ever threw your shoulder out? Yeah, I don't know if it was technically throwing my shoulder out, but... The Obsession Bow that I shot in 2020... Um, Obsession Bows have a really, like, front-heavy draw cycle, and... Ooh. Alright, we gotta find this before we're done. Um, that's fine. It didn't bug me that much, but... When I was trying to get the, uh, drop away rest to work, I had it at the bow shop, and the guy just couldn't get the thing quite right, so I had to drop back and load it up a bunch. And the let off on those bows was 90%. It's really weird if you've never shot a bow that has let off like that. It's almost like you can completely stop holding it back and it'll stay. So when you let it up, you like ease it up and it just goes. So like that sort of threw my shoulder out. And that took like two years to recover from. That wasn't good. A wing is a small forward? Yeah, there you go. Forward. An undersized center? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Getting my hind end kicked nonstop. Light brown. Okay, just now. So he's gotta be. Gotta be right here. Did I miss anything? Uh, nothing special. We have a. We're literally just getting ready to wrap up, but we have a max weight raccoon dog who is a level 7, so. Nothing special. We'll just smoke him with a 7 mil. How clutch would that have been if he was a level 9? Oh well. Not that good at basketball, but I'm almost 6 foot at 13, so I get a free pass. Dude, like... Size, especially when you're younger. Size is, I don't know, 60% of basketball. If you can get rebounds and stuff, even if everybody on your team, and even if you can't shoot well, you're going to get a bunch of shots and it's going to make a big, big difference. Flinch is a big male who scores the baskets? No. I was better at defense than anything. I have never been good at shooting basketball. Like, I mean, I can... It's not like I don't make baskets. I can. But I was never really good with the whole form thing. I'm not good with form in anything. My archery form's not that good. I just kind of brute force it and figure it out. Anyway, on that note, unfortunately, no diamonds today, but shot a whole bunch of stuff. Again, got a bunch of bean geese. Probably close to 20 raccoon dogs. Maybe next time we'll get it. I do think... We're still going to do some grinding content here and there. Um, we'll probably do a moose and bear grind video this week. But I do think we're going to start to lean into Reventuli a little bit more. Like I said at the beginning of the stream. 2023 is flying by. And I don't want to get to the point that the next map releases. And we haven't gotten all the Reventuli diamonds yet. So we're going to start to move that way. But on that note, that's going to do it for this stream. So as always, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for all the support today. And I will see you in tomorrow's video. It's actually my brother's elk hunting video in Colorado, which is a lot of fun. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. I'll see you there. Bye.